Novak Djokovic versus Carlos Alcaraz is a first semi-final for the Men's French Open for 2023. And both guys have had similar roads to get to this stage. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number three seed and will take on Kovacevic in the first round. But this is no problem for Nole, winning in straights, 6-3, 6-2, 7-6. In the second round, he'd take on Fucevic. And after a long first set, Djokovic would win in straights, 7-6, 6 love, 6-3. In the third round, he'd take on Fakina, the 29th seed. And this was so far Djokovic's toughest match, getting through a long straight sets win, 7-6. 6-7-6, 6-2. In the fourth round, he'd take on Varias, who would play three five-setters, including beating her catch, the 13th seed along the way. This was Djokovic's easiest win, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-2, 6-2, -6 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the number 11 seed, Hashinov. And after dropping the first set, Djokovic would fight back to win in four, 4-6, four, 7-6, six, 6-2, six, 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 to advance to the semifinals. Algra started the tournament as the number one seed and would take on Kaboli, the qualifier in the first round. This is no problem for Alcaraz, getting through in straight sets, 6-love, six, 6-2, two, seven, five. In the second round, he'd take on Daniel. And after dropping the second set, Alcaraz would fight back to win, 6-1, six, 3-6, six, 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 In the third round, he'd take on the 26th seed, Shapovalov, a player that he'd never played before. And this is no problem for Alcaraz, demolishing Shapo, 6-1, six, 6-4, six, six, In the fourth round, he'd take on the 17th seed, Musetti, who he had lost to in Hamburg, on the clay last year. Now Cruz was on another level, dominating Musetti 6-3, 6-2, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number five, Sidzi Pass, a man that he'd beaten a couple of months ago in Barcelona. And again, Sidzi Pass had no answers, with Alcaraz winning in straights, 6-2, 6-1, 7-6, -6, to advance to his first semi-final at the French. These two have only played the one time before. That was in Madrid last year, with Alcaraz getting the close three-set win. And we've been waiting over 12 months now for the rematch, which is finally here. And of course, the French Open is going to be a lot slower than that Madrid surface 12 months ago. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he needs to get off to a better start than he did against Hashinov. Against Hashinov, he tried to turn it up at the end of the second, and the third set was amazing, but he can't afford to give Alcaraz that first set, because that's what happened with City Pass, and City Pass got run over. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to play really well at the start. He also needs to finish off the match as well, because he does get a little bit silly in the third set. We saw that with City Pass, we saw that throughout the tournament. He kind of falls asleep. At the end of the third, you can't fall asleep against Djokovic because he'll make you pay. This is such a great match, and we've been waiting for this over 12 months now. The GOAT versus the Prodigy, and we get a rematch, and I think Djokovic is going to get it. I reckon it's going to be a five-set banger. Might be the match of the year, and I reckon Djokovic is going to get this one in the five sets. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the final.